Every night when you go to sleep and put your head on your pillow, tens of thousands of U.S. soldiers are serving overseas. And today's Jenna Wolf met a woman who's made it her mission to make sure those soldiers have a place to rest their heads as well. Jenna, good morning. Nice good to morning see you. Good morning to you, Matt. Thank you. So Joseph Ron, father of two, was a pilot stationed in Iraq. Like most soldiers, he had to balance the grittiness of war with the emotional weight of leaving his family back home until one act of kindness brought home a little closer to him. It was an early morning in Baghdad, spring of 2005. Chief Warrant Officer Joseph Ron was in the rec room shortly after getting his orders for the day. Meanwhile, at the same time, 6,000 miles away in Midland Park, New Jersey, Virginia Fawcett was giving her students their orders for the day. After you're finished, you get in here. Little did they know at that time just how big a role they would come to play in each other's lives. Shortly after the war in Iraq broke out, Mrs. Fawcett came up with an idea. When I found out that um, the soldiers didn't have pillows to sleep on, they had to fold their clothes to sleep on, I cried. So she gave the kids an assignment. So one pillow for yourself and one for a soldier in Iraq. How come you're making pillows for the soldiers? Thanks that they don't have any pillows. Kids here start as young as four years old, their little heads filled with instructions and their little pillows filled with heart. Oh, I feel your hand in there, Kev. Tell me about what you're making. Mm, I'm making a pillow for the soldiers. The soldiers overseas, right? Mm -hmm. Let's test out to see if this pillow's good. Why don't you take a little nap? Is it good? Yeah. The, that, that one's a goner? We can put this one up here now? Week after week, Mrs. Fawcett would package the pillows and ship them out, never knowing if they'd ever reach the soldiers. But one box did reach a soldier one early morning. It's the day that I wasn't scheduled to fly. And um, so then I would go use the phone, call my wife, and uh, right there was a box of pillows. I thought about it, I'm like, you know, I just spent last night without a pillow, so I'm, I grabbed one of these pillows. As a token of his gratitude, he sent the kids at Needlecraft School a letter and a picture of himself in a sandstorm with his new pillow. That pillow, he said, made him feel closer to his own kids back home. After finishing his tour in Iraq, Joe came home with his pillows, which his kids now sleep with every night. My daddy got it from Iraq and it's very special to me. And Joe's letter of appreciation earned a special place on Mrs. Fawcett's wall. Have you ever met any of the soldiers that have ever No, I haven't. I just have my treasures up on the wall there that I got from the soldiers. I'm looking at this framed letter and picture from Chief Warrant Officer Joe Ron. The thing that means a lot to me is that he's holding a yellow pillow. If you know this, none of these pillows are sand color. Can I ask you if you would read the letter for me? I am a pilot in the Alaskan um, Army National Guard. I want to thank you for the pillows. I use on my bunk. It on my and when bunk. I need to and support when I my, need it to support my, my back, back when I fly. When I fly. More importantly, I want Mrs. to thank Fawcett. you for the thought and consideration. I'd like you to meet Chief Warrant Officer Joe Ron. Oh, how wonderful! How wonderful is this? Oh my goodness gracious me, you've been on my wall for all these That's years. That's what they tell me. Oh my God, this is the most exciting day of my life. Remember this picture on the wall? Yeah. This is Joe. These pills mean that somebody cares back home, you know? That's, that's all it meant to a soldier. One little pillow. That's all it took. Come on, give me some hugs, you guys. This is awesome. And what's so interesting, Matt, is most of the children that make these pillows weren't even alive when the war first started. started so yeah. they didn't really understand why they were doing it, but they understand now, especially after meeting him. And I hope after seeing that story, more people think of doing things like yep. that even to think of these small. people overseas. Absolutely. Great story, Jenna. Thanks Thank very much. Okay. It's eight.